just think it's about getting better than we were last week. You know, we had some areas of game we were happy with against Manly, there's some areas of game we need to improve, so that's been our focus. So about an hour of that game you were really good. Yeah, I think you know, 60 minutes of the game we are winning the game. There's a ten minute period where we lose our way and in that in that period we concede too many points. So uh, we've identified how we need to be better there and uh, ride through the tough times and better and if we do that then we'll be on the right end of the score. Jai, we know what the way yeah, he's, um, he's got a rehab process over the next three or four weeks just to strengthen his shoulder, but I'm, I'm more than confident that he'll, he'll be back playing well for the rest of the season. So not the rotated cup, the season, and the injury Oh, it's a shoulder injury that needs surgery, but like a lot of players do, they play with it, you know, so, and I'm more than confident. There's been plenty of examples of players that have played in the past with it and had it done at the end of the season, or had it done in two years' time, so uh, he's got great range, he's got good strength, so pretty confident he'll play. No, no, he did, he did his ankle early in the game. He, he did the shoulder really late in the game, actually. As, as a, you see him stay down. There's a point in the game where he holds his shoulder. and um, You know, typical try fashion, he, he plays on with it. But he's a bit sore now, but I'm sure in the next couple of weeks he'll be fine. Yeah, I think for Tao, it's, it's about time in first grade now. And uh, he had a calf injury at the back end of pre-season, which affected his last month. So. He's been good to get another three or four weeks of training under his belt, and he, he's ready to go. He's really excited. He's a player we see a big future in, so can't wait to see him play on the big stage. Is it a unique situation where if you've been part of the room legs, can you just talk us through the recovery and how you actually tackle the training coming back from Yeah, it's a good question. I said that uh, when we left. It wasn't just about getting over there and playing the game. It was about how we transitioned coming back from it, and uh, we're flying blind. All the clubs are, so... Um, for us, we, we come back on the Wednesday, we trained really hard on Friday and Sunday, um, and that's prep. we feel like that's prepped us well and we had a good training session on Tuesday. So, again, we get out there tomorrow night and the boys are in good shape. Um, it's about getting out and doing the job. You know, both teams have had to travel back, so there's no excuses really. Yeah, it's been an emotional couple of weeks for Brisbane with everything they've had to go through. I imagine they're going to really target, channeling that energy in the right way. How do you harness that? Oh, look, I think emotional energy gets you through the first five, ten minutes of the game, then it's about the game of footy uh, for them, and I'm sure for us as well, it's about getting out our first two points, and both teams are going to be a bit desperate for that. Uh, it's a great stadium to play at. We don't have to get more excited than going to Suncorp, so we're focused on our process, what we need to do, and that's what our priority is. Yes. Oh, I find it interesting when people are telling people to shut up and they sit on there and have opinions every minute of the day. You know, the game's littered with opinions. The game's littered with, with agenda and, and people's thoughts, whether it be right or wrong. So as soon as a player comes out that's against someone that probably doesn't want to get someone suspended, then it's an issue. But really proud of Cody and Latrell. Um, their stance doesn't change and it hasn't changed for years for their whole time in first grade there. Um, you know, they, they represent their people really well and I'm really proud of them for that. How have they been? Because we've heard that those comments have brought up past trauma a lot of people. How have those two particular been? Oh, they've been fine. They've been fine. They, they understand who they're representing and why they're representing them. And the players and the staff and everybody in our club has their full support, uh, is backing them 100%. So, as I said before, I'm, I'm really proud of them. Really proud of the emotional intelligence that they've shown throughout this process, but their biggest focus has been on training. They've trained excellent, so and, and they know what, what we're going up there to do, and that's that's to play footy. Do you encourage them to speak what they're saying? You want them to keep speaking out? Look, if you stand for nothing, you fall for everything. That's my honest opinion. If you're not prepared to stand up for what you believe, then you know where does life take you? So, you know, I want all my players to be comfortable in their own skin, and um, you know whether that be our Polynesian boys, our Australian boys. Our Greek boys, um, we're our Indigenous players and what I love about this group is they, they support each other and that's been the case over the last week and um, as it has been in Brisbane no doubt. So I'm sure two teams will be focused on the footy tomorrow. Have you noticed any, um, you felt like you had to put an arm around any of them to have a chat about what's going on? Not really, not really. It's more just about checking in, making sure they're okay with it and understand that they, they have our support as well. Um, you know, I think it's, it's an issue that it raises its head every now and again and I think both clubs have handled it really well, and I think the game's handled it pretty well as well. Specifically, we saw Chalk really have a dig at Latrell, and, and it 
got to the point where he was talking about his performance. Um, did that disappoint you from from Chalk? And, and how do you think Latrell will handle the criticism about his game? Oh, look, I think Latrell had a good start to the season last week, and that's what his focus will be. But I've known Chalk since I was 14, 15 year old. I've been friends with him for a long time, and I was disappointed that he used that platform to, to use that. But um, you can't control that. I'm sure that those guys will have conversations away from it, sort it out, and, and move on, which I'm pretty sure they have. JD, Jai Gray is on the extended bench. He had a pretty good game, scored a try in the New South Wales Cup last week. Yep. How far away is he from getting a start? He's not far at all. Um, now, he's impressed last pre-season, had a bad hammy injury going in into the start of the year and battled that all season, but he's had a great pre-season again. Every level we've put him out, he, he stood out in the Charity Shield and he stood out last week in his first New, New South Wales Cup game. So it's a bit of a journey for Jai to go on, but he's on the right path, that's for sure. And Jacob Gagai, a great try on debut. It's been a good story of a bloke that just persevered and got a start. 100%. You know, that's the thing in recruitment. You're getting offered a lot, all these different players all the time. And one of the things I said in off-season was that it, who's better than Jacob Gagai? And the reality is no one was. So super proud of, of him making his debut. And like I said, when what he's shown is... He's up to the level of first grade, and he'll only get better from there. Cody, um, had a sort of check of preparation. Is he, how is he now? Is he, is he even better for that run? Yeah, he's had a great prep. Uh, as I said, he went into the game a bit underdone, obviously with the calf injury and uh, battling and, and, and actually training on the field. But he's he hasn't missed a beat since we come back. As I said, we trained pretty hard on the Friday and the Sunday when we come back, and I uh, feel like it's prepped the boys well for tomorrow night. As you said, you were, you were quite impressed with Albert Trail start of the year. He looked very powerful. I know he had his issues. You know, with injuries back in the last year, you feel like that's kind of like the baseline from where we're going to see him this year? Yeah, I feel like a lot of players have. I feel like, you know, the, the pre-season that we've had, we've had that longer pre-season, and, and we'll see the benefits as the season goes on. You know, the pre-season is not about getting you prep for round one, it's about having you prep for a whole season and be able to handle that, the load that comes with the full season. So I think we'll see the benefits of that at the back end of the year for sure. Just another quick one, uh, young fella, Hazen Mellers. We haven't seen him for a little while. Is he uh, due back soon? Yeah, Hazen had a pretty bad hamstring injury uh, at the back end of pre-season as well, so that's set him back a bit. But he's a player with, with a big future for us and a long-term future, so we're not in any rush. Um, but he's probably four to six weeks from, from playing. And, um, yeah, he's shown enough over the pre-season that he's going to be a player for the future as well. Thanks, JD. Good luck. Thanks, Cheers, guys. Thank you. Thanks,